I want to know what what makes you joyful. What makes Johnny Wilkinson happy? What makes you laugh? Uh, it, to be sort of very much uh, in this way, open and honest about this kind of thing. It's a funny one. It's a difficult one to explain. But for me, the joy of it all is is ultimately the unknown, yeah, whereby life becomes surprising. And I used to say that was the best thing about being a rugby player in the way that I was, my career, the way that it was, it was sort of turning out was what was always fantastic about that journey was that you never knew what was coming. You know, in training, anything could happen. In the games, anything could happen. But then also you'd have phone calls, you'd find yourself in contact with people that, oh, how's this happening? You know, just the way that things unfolded. I used to think that was exclusive to being some kind of professional sportsman when you were on that edge of being maybe a bit bit more well known for what you were doing and there was this kind of it's all sport but it's it's not it's just a, a different relationship with the unknown and I think that's the where the joy is now is that every day becomes a surprise every moment's a surprise and when you talk about the curiosity that's the curious mindset is that from my perspective it's a journey of unknowing myself so that I can have a different relationship with the unknown around me because when I got to the stage when I was 18 started playing professional rugby I was just in such an amazing place because everything was so exciting everything was so it was just a privilege to get on the field it was a privilege to hold the ball in my hands it was a privilege to, to an, an absolute joy and an honor just to to meet any of my teammates and to chat to one of the guys for two minutes as a young professional was was just mind-blowing fast forward eight nine years and suddenly I think I know everything just because I've had some experiences, I've now worked out how life works. I've worked out who's a worthy professional, who's unprofessional, who's strong, who's yeah, more feeble, who's uh, good enough, who's not good enough, what's right, what's wrong, and all these things. And now you compare those two individuals and you think that the 26-year-old the would be the one that's got all the strength because of all the experience. And yet the 26-year-old pales into insignificance versus that 18-year-old. And what I was doing was gathering all this experience, but I wasn't allowing it to become wisdom. I was turning it into just fixed ideas and conclusions. And it was separating me from that curious mindset that just has you joyfully investing and engaging, involving yourself in every moment. And suddenly I was 26, I was telling you which moments were okay to get involved in. And I was wishing away a ton saying, oh, this is, yeah, every time a coach did a session, it'd be like, oh, what's the point of this? You know, I know this. And it's that kind of switch around. So for me, the joyful curiosity is simply a choice of depth of engagement in life. And that's where the surprise is. Um, and, and not only has it been surprising in that, but it's been surprising in terms of performance as well. As I sort of do a lot of my training now, especially with the guys I coach, I do it through that lens. And I realize that that's where the secret to growth is. It's in joyful engagement. It's not in this idea that preparing is you know, turning over every stone and covering every base and, and reassurance here and reassurance there and guarantees of this. And it's, it's got nothing to do with that. Preparation is liberation. And that was, yeah, that's what's coming to me now is that it's, it's a joyful player is, is an incredible player. Yeah, in, no, in, and that's the way it works. 